been a, it's been a journey really over 40 years that I've been uh, traveling overseas for the church. You know, there are certain things that are, that are the same, uh, but just a little different. And, uh, you know, Asia is Asia. It has its own flavor. Uh, you know, like for an example, in, in Cambodia, Cambodia has a, has a, a very uh, unique history, as all countries do. But Cambodia has a unique history because of what happened in the mid-70s, the yeah. Pol Pot era. Um, and the genocide, and uh, they lost uh, somewhere between two and four million people, depending on who you talk to. Um, and that brought that entire country to a standstill. And out of that, th that culture has a, has a certain predisposition towards family, towards feelings, towards love, um, which, uh, which was a void, you know, because... Uh, all they ever experienced for those years was this enormous amount of hate. There, the church became the family. Okay. And there, the church really showed them that um, somebody could love them and that they could really be loved again yeah. and that they could have family within the congregation sure. and the fellowship again and security. And that was really the, the, the source of, of, of the beginning um, of the work uh, in, uh, in, in Cambodia. The government at that time, and it still holds true today, um, said that who, um, whoever is the first religion to establish a congregation and a church, in, even in a village, they are officially the 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 religion or the congregation of that village mm -hmm. and there was no other religion then allowed one one should understand that um every member that was sealed there about a hundred thousand they were all buddhists to begin with yeah that's there, true there were no christians so they had a completely different uh perspective on spirituality they had a completely different uh, perspective on life and death but um yeah so those are immense challenges you know talk to somebody about god um you know when there is no god the buddhists really don't have a god they consider okay buddha is, as as uh, as um uh, yeah as the center let's say of, of of their religion or their beliefs yeah but try to Try to explain some to somebody there's something else there that uh, that's not buddha um and that is greater than buddha um try to try to explain to them then the trinity oh my goodness you know like that's th these are these are things like the buddhists in cambodia have a very close connection to their ancestors who are dead they actually have a particular day called ancestor day where they remember their ancestors and think of their ancestors. They have great respect for them and they have a, a very, uh, very deep connection with them. For them, the concept of um, uh, salvation for the departed really was not that big of a leap because they believe that their ancestors are in eternity and that there is a certain existence there that they um, we could say live. Um, and for them, that was actually really welcome news that they're not just, that, uh, you know, um, somehow uh, that they went there, they're sequestered there and they have to stay there forever. But there was this opportunity for them for eternal life. And not only that, that these very well-respected ancestors or, or maybe their children and all of those that they had lost during the Paul Pot time, those millions of people that had entered into eternity in these terrible ways, that they would have an opportunity to be together with them in the kingdom of peace in the future. Oh, that was a, that was a wonderful, wonderful revelation.